Celebrities seem like they're on top of the world. They're rich, beautiful, and powerful. And yet, even celebrities aren't safe from at-will employment laws. We're counting down the top 10 celebs who got fired for no good reason voted on by you, the viewer. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified about our new videos. The Lovely Bones is a supernatural thriller drama from director Peter Jackson starring Susan Sarandon, Rachel Wise, and Mark Wahlberg. But before Mark Wahlberg was cast as Saoirse Ronan's father, Ryan Gosling was in the picture. Ryan was only 26 at the time, so he attempted to age himself up for the director. He showed up to filming, 60 pounds overweight, wearing a beard. Ryan drank thawed ice cream in order to pack on all those pounds. Mark Wahlberg is 10 years older than Ryan, so Peter Jackson just decided that he'd be a better fit for the movie, and he let Ryan go. American Psycho was Christian Bale's breakout movie, launching him into leading man territory. Director Mary Heron personally cast Christian as Patrick Bateman. Then Lionsgate acquired the movie's worldwide distribution rights and replaced Christian with Leonardo DiCaprio. Mary refused to meet with Leonardo as she felt he was too boyish after appearing in Titanic and because she, you know, specifically chose Christian. She was replaced by the new director, Oliver Stone. Not too long after, Leonardo left American Psycho to appear in Danny Boyle's The Beach. Oliver Stone left the project, and the production company went ahead and brought back Mary and Christian to make the movie. Mark Webber was cast as Gray McConnell in ABC's Stumptown in 2019. But not too long after he was cast, the network replaced him with new girl actor Jake Johnson. Mark criticized the network for the alleged reason behind recasting him. In May 2019, he tweeted, Look, I'm a straight white male, so I know my journey has been way less painful in this warped industry. But I'm being recast in a network television show because I'm not handsome enough for executives. It's important for me to share the real pain we endure in this industry. Maybe, fortunately, in Mark's favor, Stumptown was canceled after one season. 2001 saw the release of The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring an enormous blockbuster success, earning just short of $900 million at the box office. Stuart Townsend was the first choice by director Peter Jackson to play Aragorn. But when it came time to shoot, Peter changed his mind. Stuart was replaced by Viggo Mortensen a day before filming started because he looked too young. At the time, Stuart was 29 and Viggo was 43. Stuart told Entertainment Weekly, I was there rehearsing and training for two months and then was fired the day before filming began. After that, I was told they wouldn't pay me because I was in breach of contract due to not having worked long enough. I had been having a rough time with them, so I was almost relieved to be leaving until they told me I wouldn't be paid. Apparently, 29 was too young of an age to portray the 87-year-old Aragorn. When most people think of animation, the first name that comes to mind is usually Disney. For nearly 100 years, Disney has been synonymous with creativity. But it hasn't always been that way. When Walt Disney was 18, he was fired from the Kansas City Star newspaper because his editor claimed he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. Following his firing, Walt struggled for a few years to get a start in animation. He formed the Disney Brothers Studio when he was 22, along with his brother Roy Disney. After a few other name changes, the Disney Brothers Studio became the Walt Disney Company, which had a creative operating income of over $8 billion in 2020. In January 2012, Selma Blair was cast in the role of Dr. Kate Wales, Charlie Sheen's therapist in the TV series Anger Management. In July 2013, Charlie Sheen told producers that he refused to work with Selma due to her being the most vocal among the cast and crew regarding Charlie being a menace to work with. He threatened to quit, so Selma was fired. She threatened Charlie and producers with a $1.2 million lawsuit over lost wages due to her firing. No lawsuit was ever filed, though, so it's likely that the producers settled with Selma. In 2015, Julianne Moore gave an interview where she said that she was originally cast to play Lee Israel in the movie Can You Ever Forgive Me, but left the project due to creative differences with the movie's writer, Nicole Holofcener. A few years later, in 2019, Julianne told Andy Cohen more details about the movie. I didn't leave that movie. I was fired. Nicole fired me. So, yeah, was that's there... the truth. I think she didn't like what I was doing. I think that her idea of where the character was um, was was different than where my idea of the character was, and so she fired me. Melissa McCarthy ended up replacing Julianne Moore and was nominated for an Oscar. 
Michael J. Fox was director Robert Zemeckis' first choice for Marty McFly in Back to the Future. But when Michael wasn't available due to filming family ties, Robert went with Eric Stoltz. But Robert and writer Bob Gale weren't happy with the more serious take Eric had on the character. He was a method actor only answered to Marty on set and wasn't funny enough. Robert and Bob realized they needed someone funnier. They convinced the studio to fire Eric and hire Michael as originally intended. Michael ended up filming Family Ties during the day and Back to the Future at night. During a commencement speech at his alma mater, Howard University, the late Chadwick Boseman shared a story of his firing. At the time, he didn't name the soap opera he was fired from, but later told the rap about his short role on All My Children. At the commencement speech, Chadwick explained that he questioned why his character didn't have a father and why his mother couldn't care for her children. He told executives, If we're around here assuming that the black characters in the show are criminals on drugs and deadbeat parents, then that would probably, probably be stere stereotypical, wouldn't it? He was fired from the soap opera the next day. Terrence Howard played Colonel James Rhodes, Iron Man's best friend in the first Iron Man movie, which launched the Marvel Cinematic Universe. At the end of the movie, Rhodes looks at an Iron Man suit and says loudly, Next time, baby. Implying he'll be back for more movies. But Terrence would end up being replaced by Don Cheadle for future MCU movies. Talking to Andy Cohen in 2013, Terrence explained he had signed a three-picture deal, but when it came time for the sequel, he was offered less money than the first. He added that the money went to Robert Downey Jr. instead. Terrence said, It turns out <laughs> that the person that I helped become Iron Man when it was time to re-up for the second one yep. took the money that was supposed to go to me and pushed me out. And there you have it. Any celebs that you think should have made this list, let us know in the comments section below. And as always, like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check back here to find out what else needs to be ranked.